There are just tunnels. Um, now, uh, you get final survival check, Rutherford, and Genevieve make another use trap. Uh, make this one at plus 20%. Okay. Uh, final has uh, the ring of finality to it. Yeah, so but that, that actually was, yes, that was a pass. You forgot to add the plus 20. I don't know what she'll do if Rutherford dies. The entire campaign kind of hinges on him. That's why I haven't died. Because yes. I'm just perfect. I'm sure that's um, the reason. You come up, so thinking about kind of where you are applying everything you've learned and where, like, and all the hours you've spent wandering, um, you come to a tunnel that looks like it came to a wall. The wall's been bricked over, but not very well. This should be the church. Now, the hero in you is asking for only one thing. Explosives. Kick to down exist. the door. Kick down this, uh, down this the wall. Yeah. There's no hero in Rutherford. There's a delusional one, though. <laughs> well, it's not a hero. <laughs> See, what Get Rutherford is doing is in the horror of watching Rasmussen burn alive, he's now living out Rasmussen through himself. Rasmussen wasn't a hero either. He was a bigger hero than everyone but Alexandre. He was quite literally almost half the man most of us were. He was at least three-fourths of the men we all are. Including Genevieve. Uh, Rutherford, make... Sorry, make an athletics check. Um... Make it hard, because you're wounded. I want to admit with some shame, I do not remember how Rasmussen died. Uh, in a fire. Either how himself. else? Of his own accord? Well, no. <laughs> no I mean, how I else? The Rutherford fire. is the yeah. one I expect to die in a fire. I'm going to re-roll that. Okay. okay. It's, it's coming down. Yeah, actually, it is. <laughs> You burst through um, with reckless abandon. And now you're in a, uh, a crypt. Um, you don't see anyone around. I imagine you sort of follow it into a main complex, correct? Yeah. Yeah, you see a... Uh, you, get, you follow it for a while and you... You, really, you know, this, this looks like what should be the underground of a church. Um, you hear voices come, coming down like a lot, like you come into a hallway and you hear voices um, as they walk down. Uh, you can hide and eavesdrop or you can try and ambush them. What do you guys want to do? Hide and eavesdrop. Or, huh. wait. Make a cell check. I have not... Yeah. We both make the stealth check, or does just one person do it? Just one person. Okay. Are you doing it, or I'm doing it? <laughs> uh, you're. I mean, I think. I mean, I ignore I... three skill ranks, anyways. So that's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> it's a save either way. <laughs> nice. How uh, you hide? Um, you can take an eavesdrop as well. Although you'll get definitely a large part of the conversation. This is a non-failure role. Um, you will get less of it. Um, so as you're hiding, uh, but eventually you hear them walk by and one of them says, yes, the bishop did act strange. Hopefully this man can tell us more about the goings on in this town. And then he continues off. Um, you catch a glimpse of the telltale hat of witch hunters. It just keeps getting worse and worse. The real ones arrived. <laughs> the real ones have been here. Okay. <laughs> Do 
Do we hear them pass? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Should we follow them or keep going? Uh. I, aren't we just like looking for um, the, Martin. The, the yeah Martin? So maybe we should just focus on that. Yeah, I yeah. Don't think we're in fighting shape right now. Mm -hmm. So you continue away the opposite direction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you go for a while. Eventually, you'll find it like a there'll be like a wine cellar you pass, um, and like you know maybe like a storage room or something that's filled with like you know random church stuff, like candles and shit. Um, and then you but you eventually come to another door, and when you open it, you realize this leads into the cathedral main complex, or so it's sort of a staircase up. So that would lead to the the, the cathedral, probably. Right? Oh. Probably not. You did mention the... here the mention something about a prisoner. Oh, so they're probably going to go see the prisoner. In fact, if you're downstairs, it's about this time you hear the first scream. Uh... And that basement is well insulated if I've been sleeping upstairs. Of course, the first screen. We gotta go see what's happening. Alrighty. I'm not saying we do anything, but... <laughs> I, need, I just need to get a little glimpse, and I'll know if it's Martin or not. We're gonna head back. Okay. Um, you come to a, like a door. Um, that's that's slightly that's actually it's open as you come up to it. Um, you can see the sort of like prison cells. There's four of them, and at the end of the room, it kind of opens up into a larger chamber where you can see the two witch hunters have um, uh, tied. Somebody, uh, wait, have either of you Mar met Martin? Oh, you have. So you could see it's definitely Martin. Um, they've tied him to a chair, um, and they've begun doing explicit torture. A, um, I don't think we need to say what it is. Um, the and, comfy pillows, no, the comfy pillows, um, whatever you're comfortable with. Imagine that, okay. Um, and they're uh, uh applying. And they're beginning to ask him questions. Do you just want to sit and listen to the questions? Do you want to make a move? What's the play? Hmm. Do you want to hear or do you want to stop them? Getting ourselves killed isn't really going to save anyone I, we should just listen i guess okay well, we'll listen for a bit okay um so they start and they say um god i was gonna make the monty python joke but i don't have it in me right now <laughs> um our primary weapons are fear fear and something i can remember <laughs> It's lost to me now. Our weapon is fear. Fear and surprise are two main weapons. Fear, surprise, and a fanatical devotion to the Pope are <clears throat> our main weapons. Among which are fear, surprise, a fanatical devotion to the Pope, and a snazzy red dress. <laughs> there. There. That's basically what they say. <laughs> um, um, but then they begin asking him questions. How much did you know about Gracius? Um, what interactions did you have with him and his wife, Selma? Right? 
and he's trying to answer these questions, like stammer them out. Um, and they keep like, you know, he's telling him he's lying and then applying another dose of torture. Um, it goes, it goes on for a while and like nobody else is coming down here and they don't seem to notice you. So they're, so I guess I'll just boil it down. Their main questions is they seem to be focused around Gracius Basque and Brutus. Brutus. Oh boy. They don't know he's dead. <laughs> Your mother really was a whore. But don't say that. <laughs> Um, make a stealth check and see if you can keep listening. Alrighty. So, Rutherford, um, you're kind of like okay. trying to hide, but then you see one of the witch hunters turns around and he whispers something to the other one. And he pulls out this magnificent looking pistol and begins walking forward slowly. Can will we have to run in front of them to get to the tunnels? Um no, you would run the other way, like you know. They're basically in, in one room and you're in another. I'm out. I'm running. Okay. Yeah, you you make it. Um, I just imagine the both of you mm -hmm. run. But wait, Rutherford, is that what a hero would do? As you take your first step. A hero would live. Okay. Another uh, day. So what is it? You have to suffer how much corruption when you don't do your hero impulse? Uh, six. And shouldn't we be a mutant by now, then? I'm getting there. He's, he's getting there. It's a, is this a double chaos rank day? Yeah. This is a double chaos rank day. Maybe triple. Maybe triple. Yeah, so basically his disorder, if he doesn't, if I say, is that what a hero would do? And he's like, man, no, a hero would run away. Um, he gains corruption. Six corruption. Anyways, oh, also, just so you know, you can add your deranged hero to parry, too. Oh, my God. Why are you trying to make him grow a tentacle, man? Um, because it's funny to me. It could just be a mental derangement, <laughs> too. There probably will be another one, yes. I give it one more game, and I'll have another one. Okay, um, yeah, you take off and you disappear into the tunnels, but when the witch hunter gets to the door, like, you know, he, like, peeks out, looks around, and then just closes the door. Um, but you guys are already gone. Uh, so do we know who they were torturing? Just, like, some random person? No, it was Martin. Okay. And they were specifically asking him questions in relation to Gracius and what it seemed like the Beastmen. Okay, um, so since we're at a harm's way for now, uh, did we make it back into the tunnels, or are we still in the church? Uh, you made it back to the tunnels. D do I see anybody following us? No. Okay, so I look at, at Rutherford, and she's like, so what's the plan? I thought we were supposed to break out Martin. Well, hero. Here's what we need to do. We need to go to Zades, recuperate, heal. And then when they're done torturing him, we go get him. Uh, 
when we were like just walking through the church before we hit that torture chamber area did i see anything interesting or would i have to go back and like like scrutinize um in the torture area i mean you were there for a for quite a bit um you can make a an awareness test to see if you see anything but like there really isn't much there besides torture for me they probably I mean, you never know. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, we've been zero. Um, yeah, you didn't see anything super interesting that caught your eye. That okay. was like an area which you didn't expect. And, and there was just two witch hunters, right? Um, what what's next, you two? Go bang on Zade's door again. <laughs> I assure you, the answer will probably be exactly the same. Um, I don't know though. Maybe this time he's more likely to listen to you. Okay. Right. Uh, is it possible? Since we, do we know more or so the layout of the rat tunnels? Enough that you can navigate to the church to Zades and back out. Could could we? Could I just lead the two witch hunters in the torture chamber and get them lost in the rat tunnels? It is a possibility. I, I think I'm going to. So I'm going to look at Rutherford and she's like, okay, we're going to go our way back. I'm going to make the witch hunters chase me around. And then I'm going to get them lost. And then meanwhile, I'm running around in the rat tunnels. You are going to get, say, you're going to get Martin out of that torture chamber and get the fuck out of here. Okay. That is what a hero would do. A hero would be the one who ran around with the lantern, though. That is true. That's true. Mm. I mean, a hero would do either, I think. They're both fairly heroic acts. Uh, since there, we only have one lantern, uh, could I... Was there something uh, in, the, in the torture chamber that I could grab, like a torch? Yes. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure there's just a torch or lanterns down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's torches. Like it was lit. The hallway was lit, so you can definitely find like a candle or something. Um, and probably a torch is better or light. Um, all right. So this is our strategy. Yep. Rutherford, where are you gonna hide? In a casket. <laughs> okay. So you go like to the wine cellar. Uh, Genevieve, this is a chase that doesn't really have a has a specific endpoint based on Rutherford. Mm -hmm. So right now we'll call it a six round chase. Mm -hmm. So five or six rounds, you'll have them lost in the tunnels. Okay. If they catch you. Then they've obviously caught you. Yeah, I got that. Um, and how Rutherford is doing will sort of then. So, like, if after six rounds Rutherford still isn't out with Martin or hidden somewhere, yeah, uh, you will have also you will have to keep going until he does. Yeah. Okay. How do you do it? Actually, hold on. Hold that thought. Uh, for one minute. I'll be right back. Things are getting exciting. As always. I, I do love just kind of watching this go down and thinking, 
You know, I actually have all the skills to have done this. <laughs> I, I have survival and navigation for getting through those underground passages. And I'm actually skilled in melee combat. But are you a hero? <laughs> oh, heavens no, of course not. See, you're not cl you're clearly not skilled. <laughs> I am a priest. I am an inspiration to the people, and I will be forgotten once I run out of here problems. later. <laughs> so many problems with it. I'm, I'm actually more afraid I'm going to faint. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, I've yeah. heard the stories. I'm actually really afraid I'm going to faint. But uh, I, mean, just... I, I think Genevieve's willing to do the sacrifice. She's, she's not a very so, so she's not a very selfish person, so... <laughs> Yeah, just imagine being captured by witch hunters. It's gonna suck. I don't think Martin's even gonna be able to walk. Well, Dude, I hope you have fun carrying him. You better pressure him to walk. Oh man, you know I'm pretty good at torture. You don't need to torture him more! You're probably gonna have to kick down Zade's door again. Okay. Genevieve. How do you do it? Alright, so once I see that uh, Rutherford's, like, properly hide, um, I'm gonna make a lot of noise. Like, it's not gonna keep it subtle. I'm just gonna run in there and be like, Hey! You too! And then I'll just be, and just be like, I'm the backstarter, Genevieve, come and get me! <laughs> I'm really? <laughs> oh, witch! <laughs> and, right, like they, they both okay. pull these like ornate pistols and start running after you. <laughs> okay, um, you have a head start of three, so roll a d10 plus your movement plus three. All right, d10. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, this is plus my movement. All right. So 10. 13. Okay. Um, yeah, you head out to the tunnels. Um, actually, I'm going to do it for... Look at the turn order. That's the chase. Uh, at the end of round one. Um, yeah, so you start like f flying back through towards the tunnel, and they, they start chasing. Like One of them fires off his pistol in the freaking church basement. Um, and, you know, the bullet comes whizzing past your ear, and then you turn that corner. <laughs> okay. Okay, no complication the guy in the lead. Um, Rutherford, you see the coast is clear. Uh, you can move up to the tortury. And leap out. Not even. No stealth. Caution of the wind. Okay, so you run. Yeah, the you bolt. get to... You see, like, Martin, he's been cut up. Like, fingers have been broken. Um, general bad stuff. Um... You just like cut the ropes on his chair right off. Oh yeah. Just All right. Tear yeah. it up. Yeah, so you get him up, uh where he, so he's cut off. And then Genevieve, make your roll. Okay. <laughs> nineteen. Also nineteen. So they only get an eight and an eleven. Okay, no complications. Yeah, you start making the tunnels and they start to get lost. Maybe even questioning what they're doing. Rutherford, what do you do? I grab him and I start I just start pulling them. 
Martin, we got to get the hell out of here. They, they, they broke all the bones in my foot. I give him a laudanum. Okay. Um, yeah, he chugs it down and he's like, fuck. And he like gets up and he starts meandering forward, but the pace is slow. Like, kind of carry him like a crotch. A human crotch. Mm-hmm. All right, Genevieve, roll a d10 plus your movement plus eight. So that's your current lead. Okay, plus eight. Okay, so that is... Fifteen. Twenty. You can feel your lead soft. Um, yeah, you feel your lead soften, but... Uh, they're still, they're still on your head. Um, Rutherford, you've hold them up like a crutch. You've barely gotten to the entrances of the rat tunnel. But can you really go down there? Or do you have to rave the church? Do I have to what? Rave the church. Oh. Basically go out through the top. I have to take them upstairs. Which one is better? It'd be harder because you have to like you have to like blend in to the church. If somebody catches you, you you're, you're like you're you're still running screwed, and there might be guards up there. Well, let me also point out: Would Lady Brienne only have one of her minions in the tunnels? Dude, I kind of hope she does because then the witch hunters can deal with it, and I don't have to deal with it. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I said question. And then and then Zade has to deal with it, and then he, he I don't want to have to deal with it. <laughs> but Rutherford might have to deal with it. I guess I guess we're going through the church. You arrive, you get up, and you see a surprise looking clergyman. Fortunately it's not Father Leon. That would be too helpful. Of course. <laughs> they ask you, what are you doing? Who are you? Who's this bloody man? <laughs> the torch, uh, witch hunters had a good go with them, but they're done with them. I'm thinking I'm going to get some medical aid now. Guile, normal. Luckily, you can't critically fail. So, I mean, you can use that last fortune point. Yeah, I mean, the fortune in the pool. That's. Oof. He calls for. He says, "I, I don't think that's right." Somebody get the the church guard. He starts screaming. Falcon punch. <laughs> punch him? What? <laughs> I was hoping you'd just knock him out. I don't know. Alright, what's, what's exactly around us? What kind um, of, like, are the room... So you're in what would be like probably the rectory part of the church. Um, this is where kind of the clergy live area. Okay. Is this? <sighs> Things I do. I'm going to drop Martin and I'm going to swing my sword at him. Okay. You can attack roll. Just um just go ahead. Just go ahead. (laughs) 
No, 65 is still a pass. Suffered three corruption, plus an additional seven corruption. Um, as you brutally assault a member of the church clergy, uh, go ahead and roll a d6 for passing his damage threshold plus six. All right, no injury, but you'll say you like stab him, he falls back and just starts screaming more. He is helpless and defenseless. Uh, we'll come back to you in a second. Genevieve in tunnels, uh, roll d10 um, plus your current lead, which, oh, shoot, I didn't finish right. Um, which should be five. So d10 plus your movement plus five. Okay. Um, as you're running, the other one of the witch hunters he makes a grab for you. Okay, you have to pass a coordination test or be taken down. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, he makes the grab uh but fails. Misses just barely, right? Like he he gets like a like a a stray piece of cloth or clothing that was hanging off of you and rips it as they're running through the tunnels. You have to survive two more rounds. You have no lead at the moment. Uh Rutherford, uh, the priest is helpless and defenseless in front of you. I'm gonna stick him. You're gonna kill him? Oh, yeah. Um, how much I give you? Six? Yeah, take another eight. Corruption. I'm gonna take his clothes, too. Okay, they're covered in blood and torn, and footsteps are rushing towards you. I'm gonna put them on and drop my mask. On top of the dead priest, you're gonna put on his clothes. <laughs> you really don't have the time for this, and they're filled with blood, covered in blood. Uh, yeah, but I'm carrying a bloody man. Okay, <laughs> I don't even know. Make a disguise test. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I Make it hard. I'm stuck in the church. <laughs> Honestly, I should just run away. Probably that should, really. Is that what it really do? No. Um, so you begin putting on the clothes, and then, like, you see the unarmed sees you and is like, Stop right there, witch! Um, <laughs> Yeah, we'll ask you what you do next. Uh, round five, Genevieve, no lead, so just D10 plus your movement. All right. Uh, let's see. Um... Eight. Oof. Good thing is you're not the slowest. But you're gonna have to pass another coordination test. All right. Uh, critical success. I don't think you get to resist. Uh, hold on. Let me check something. Okay. No. Uh, yeah. I don't believe you get a resistance here. I did actually. Okay. Um, the witch hunter throws you to the ground. 
and screams for you to surrender, which... Uh, can I do anything, or am I just grapple down? You're grapple down. I mean, we can go straight into combat. Uh, yeah. Sure, why not? <laughs> it's gonna end horribly, but we'll we'll do this. Do I have to roll initiative, or no? Um, I, I remember your initiative. It was an 8. Rutherford, mm -hmm. you're 18, I believe. Because you were tied 18, with Zade. Yeah. Well, they have stats for which one, I think. Or maybe not, actually. Ugh. All right, this seems close enough. Okay, um, obviously your refusal to uh, surrender. Um, you're knocked down, so it's D6 plus damage. Let's see. He's actually going to move into a chokehold. Um, you have to resist athletics. Yeah. Uh, he passes. So I have, I still have to roll my athletics. Yeah. All right. Oh. Okay, that's up for 1d10 plus Braum bonus. Peril immediately. It's up for 8 physical barrel, which is the same as mental barrel. Uh, I'm 8. That doesn't reach my damage threshold, so I'm still, I'm still lightly wounded. Oh, it's not wounded, it's mental. Oh, mental? Uh, yeah, I think I'm incapacitated? I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, the world goes dark. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, Genevieve, the world goes dark on you. Rutherford. Martin, you're on your own. Back on stairs. That's it? You leave it? Yep. You're out. out. Six questions. And uh, make me an athletic test. Okay. Um... The question is, are you fast enough? So, all right, so here's where we're going to end it, is you getting chased by the guard, right? Because now you're in a, you weren't able to, to get away fast enough before you started running, like put the pieces together that you like just stabbed a priest or killed the priest, you killed him, right? Oh, yeah. You had to make them stop making noise. Yeah. Um, you kill the priest, and then you drop the dead body, and you start running. Um, once you process that, he takes off after you. And, of course, you will have to try and escape. Uh, again. Father Liam, when you get back to the cathedral, um, some stuff is going to happen to you, too. Oh, boy. Yeah. 
And I think that's where we'll end it for tonight. All right. Let's uh let's resolve our things then, I think. There's a lot of corruption on the board, isn't there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely none. <laughs> Zade is just such a saint, isn't he? I am. Yeah. Just metric tons of explosives. All under the city. <laughs> Fuckers cross me. Okay, anyone who's got any corruption gain a chaos rank. Uh, Grippy, that means five chaos ranks. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of chaos ranks. Wait, how much corruption? Or... Uh, if you had any corruption today. Oh, okay, any corruption. Okay, gotcha. What's that? Another order rank. I'll take it. <clears throat> 45, that's... I mean, let's face it, I might not be a saint, but I am the cleanest of all of us. So I only curse the worldly. Whereas you guys are fucking with the gods left and right. I don't, I don't think I mean, I just took Rutherford's that. money. Hardly a crime. Yeah, but you're a holy man, and you're dealing with the unholy people. This is literally no way to get out of this world clean. Did not Sigmar go among the unwashed masses to brutally murder them or something? Uh, <laughs> Your accomplice just murdered a priest. Your brother. <laughs> you better not tell me about that. that just You're gonna means... find out. You're gonna find out. Literally, every time you open your mouth, you just make a chance for chaos to come out. That's the problem. <laughs> See, all I talk about is money. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong that way. Uh, what else we gotta do? Alignment. And then um, basic experience. Yeah, you get 100 reward points for showing up. Remember that adv advancement at our level costs 200. Um... Yeah, I'm behind the clues. And mm -hmm. so you'll probably get a bunch in the beginning of next session, as long as I can remember to do it. Hopefully I will. Because we're like I'm like really far behind now. Um And then I'll start going through. Father Leon, did you uh were you charitable or had uh pity today? Also, did you just give yourself five chaos ranks? You you did say five. That was just a rough yeah, That's you just get. Yeah. Oh, okay. So how many do I gain then? Just one. Okay. Well, no, I have only one. Good. Uh, yeah, I definitely was full of pity today. I I pity all these people who are in such a poor position, and I continue to use them to accelerate the plot. Yeah, okay. Take an extra twenty-five. Okay. Um. Zaid, adaptation or mayhem? I've adapted to my situation. Seems good. Went literally underground and just continued working. It's great. <laughs> Doesn't even break your stride. I mean, and I now have 200, and for no no reason at all, I'm just going to buy this experience point and the driving skill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Genevieve, duty or fatalism? Uh, both, clearly. I don't know why you guys are blind. I just, uh, threw myself to duty to save everybody, and then fatalism, because I just, even though I had a huge chance of passing out, I still did the roughest thing. <laughs> Let witch hunters capture me. I mean, so. to be fair, Genevieve being awake gives her the hugest chance of passing out. <laughs> <laughs> this time, somebody else, well, not really, she wouldn't have passed out if she didn't, uh, Accidentally, like, fail or parry. I mean, at some point, somebody's gonna have to go back through all the videos and see how many sessions <clears throat> versus how many times Genevieve has passed out and see if it's, like, a one-to-one -one ratio. <laughs> uh, Rutherford. Pride Arrogance. Would it be a normal game? If it was no. <laughs> I mean, where was the pride and arrogance? Today? Where was it? That's what I'm asking. I don't know. I was too busy being a hero. 
Were you? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll accept that. Just because, yes. Your pride is... You literally have a disorder fueled by your pride. <laughs> and the question is not, is he a hero? Is he a deranged hero? Deranged hero. That's all That's he an important there. keyword, yeah. Oh gosh, we're gonna have Rutherford and Don Quixote soon. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> well, Don Quixote wasn't oh, yeah. deranged. He was delusional. A deranged hero is somebody who's doing something evil and thinks that they're a hero. Well, I suppose. <laughs> we'll find them both a windmill. The guy who's keeping uh, children in his basement and killing them thinks he's a deranged hero. Gotta keep the children safe. They're not safe in this world. I gotta kill them. That way, that way they won't experience the awful tragedy that is life. That's a deranged hero. Don ah, Quixote. yes, the anti-natalist viewpoint. Yeah. The... I mean, if that's how you want to describe Rutherford, then sure, let's go with it. <laughs> Better for Rutherford to have never lived. Probably. That monster would still be at the castle. Uh... I believe I'm exactly 10 experience points away from being able to grab my incantation and finally be complete. Likely you'll get that next session. You're probably, everyone probably going to get a, like a heap load of experience mm -hmm. as we, I believe, have worked up to a revela revelation um, and the, like the clues along the way that got us there. Um, we, we've, we've got a lot revealed right now, I think. Yeah, I feel like it's going to come to a boiling point at some point. Well, I feel like this session is bringing that boiling point faster. <laughs> yeah. We um, did some things. Definitely did some things. I'm going to get burned. I <laughs> wonder what Nero is going to have to say about this. He's still <clears throat> playing the bad guy, right? Nero. Um, yeah, unfortunately, his schedule didn't allow him to do that. Uh, so, yeah, I'd I'd kind of wish because it would make um, it can be easy as you're doing a conspiracy that like all the conspirators are just working together, but that's not like a real reflection of reality. Uh, conspiracies often, like actual conspiracies, break up apart because people have different agendas. Um, mm -hmm. So I thought that would have been an interesting twist. Yeah. Yeah. There are definitely at least three different players involved here between, like, uh, Lady Brianna, the Graf, and the Bishop, I think. Mm -hmm. Where the Graf is clearly uh, in fully endorsing of this criminal conspiracy, even if he might not be aware of it. Uh, and the Bishop has clearly been influenced to some degree by Lady Brianna to accept these bounties. Mm -hmm. uh, so, quite a lot going on. Sounds good, everyone. See you next week. Woo! How we're gonna get out of this? I don't. I don't. I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm just gonna get burned. <laughs> Will Rutherford find another disguise for twenty seconds? Will Genevieve stay conscious? Will Father Leon remain not a criminal? Find out next time. <laughs>